Hello YouTubers, friends and subscribers, non-subscribers, fans. This is JW Solar USA and um, I have something here it's gonna show you. Uh, this is supposed to be another addition to uh, the system. But uh, I think I'm gonna try it first and see how it works and how everything goes, okay? All right. Ta-da! Look at that. It's a Sun Series Grid Tide Inverter. Aha! Uh -huh. So, system is going to be something like a kind of hybrid. And this is going to be cool. So, what this device does is... Uh, this is going to be taken from the solar panels and invert it back to the grid and what it's going to do it has a built-in internal limiter so basically instead of um, since uh, power company you don't want to pay you for your power and uh, instead I'm going to use my power and I don't know if I'm going to stick with them for a long time or not. So I don't want to be signing contract with them. So I might <clears throat> try this. But if I don't like it, I'll pass it on to my friend Tom. And Tom's going to utilize it because basically it's not for me. But just a new review that I'm going to test and see how it works. And I'm going to pass it on to Tom. Tom, because it's making too much power now, he's spinning the meter backwards, and uh, he just want to conserve, or he want to just reserve his power for himself. So the, what this device does, this device can just take all the power that is making, it, it, it checks with the grid, and see how everything goes, if it's not using if he is uh, taking more from the grid and the solar power is just going to pump in and cut that and zero out whatever is taken from the uh, energy company and uh, and it's going to end up using just his power and this device what it does basically it doesn't let the uh, meter go backwards it, 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 it's just doing since you have a um, island protection into it so it studies the grid whatever is coming out from the grid whatever the devices at the house is taking from the grid and that's why that's what um, is doing and just um, zero out if you're making more power and if you end up like um, making less it borrows a little bit but it's not gonna ever let your meter ever According to what they said, it's not going to ever let you um, uh, spin the meter backwards anymore. So, these are all um, specs right here for you guys, graphs, and if you want to take a look, uh, we'll test it out. But, you know, um, I still I want to stay with my off-grid. Yes, I'm going to just try this. Uh, got it for Tom. And I'm going to try it. And see how it works. So that I can be able to help him out. When he needs help. These are all the specs here. And uh, this device is going to be going live. I don't have time right now. And the sun is down. And uh, work. And all that good stuff. But... What I read about it, and um, this is what I think the system is going to do. So, all different configurations and setup and all the good stuff. Okay. Showing different ways how you do it. Well, I just want you guys to be part of this. You can able to series parallel sorry all these devices you know it makes you parallel them yep it looks like a, a decent de um, 
device and this is uh, the new newest technology out there that uh, the Chinese or Asian or Pacific whatever it is I think it came from Hong Kong or Thailand whatever I can't remember because I ordered from United States I thought it's just from the US and all of a sudden it came from all the way across the pond so I'll see what this device can do screen right there and maybe one of you guys will have this kind of device out there and I saw it's just like a hot cake I ordered this one it took me since the, the 22nd of um, March it's now I guys got it send them email what's going on and uh, they said they have, have to put a back order because of the device a hot cake because I want it to be blue so that it can match with my stuff and then Tom but it's just a test and see if it works for him and um, maybe I'll think about it then this uh, just a mess with it and see but uh, like I said it's for him all right here's the cord right here and uh, it's just that's the name a Sun series grid tired powered inverter it should be like this this color right here yeah but they said the blue is just a hot cake and uh, it's just keep on going and I asked them for the device when it's going to show up. And they said, oh, well, see, we have this color. If you don't mind, I was just tired of waiting, you know. So, so we decided, I decided to just go about it and get me what they have there. So this is kind of like a gray color, silver, you call it, whatever you, the color is, which I don't care that much as long as it works the only other thing I'm thinking about I don't know since it, I realized that it's coming all the way across the pond they got a warranty on it but what would be the deal if something happened to it yeah so this is it This device right here. Oh, that's what I was looking for. The specs. Ah, uh, it's backwards. Well. I hope you guys can read that. AC power out is a thousand watt. AC output two hundred thirty volts. Hold on, let's see here. So the input takes a 45 volt DC to 90 volt DC. Operating temperature range is minus 10 degrees Celsius or minus 4, 45 degrees Celsius. AC output is 230 volt. And uh Started giving out, but this one since is a uh, 110, 115. So there's another one with the AC output, uh, which is a 220, 230. I didn't get that one, so I decided to 
go with this because some don't want to go through all putting a 220 wire coming all the way to his garage so this one produce uh, 115 which is a 90 volt to 130 volt it's gonna be pushing back to the grid at a thousand watt so and it's designed for indoor use I said it's built with a, a internal limiter that uh, protect let the excess power so you can put excess power like selling back or they can able to take your power so you only use what you only uh, um, use what um, your demands are okay okay youtubers i'm gonna be plugging the device and see um how it looks ah it's on here's the power is reading from the grid right now 123.2 volts and uh i don't know if you guys can read Okay, say sun 1000G sun 45 to 90 volt. So this device can take a 45 volt to 90 volt DC inputs. Uh, software version is uh, 5.0. Yeah, having trouble uh, getting details into this. Is how it looks like. Interesting. So it's got a blue neon light in there. I plug into uh, a 110 outlet. Okay. And let's try and see some programming here. Okay, YouTube, this is the programming right here. And uh, if you look at it, you're going to move the arrows. And that's how it spins around here. So we're going to start with this. Here, start menu. Push this one. It's going to give us the inverters asking um what you want to do so we're gonna choose from this if we want the backlight to stay on all the time or we can go back up for the limit mode so up we push this button then this one doesn't have external it has an internal build limiter so that you can push the power back to the grid you can't uh spin the meter back or see controls through that so what we're gonna do we use the um, internal so that limiter said we're gonna keep the screen say let's keep it on all the time then you push this one and here if you look closely these are um, if you, you can connect this device directly to your battery bank as well so if you want you don't want to connect it through your solar panels you can go with this specs so we can only let you do these features here where you can tell you the battery discharge current mode and the volt and the amps and it gives you the battery discharge power mode which is the voltage and wattage so we have to go now to save Okay, we don't want internal that is already programmed. Get out of there. You want to save that? Push yes. Push this one. So we're going to go to the power grid mode. 
So this is the grid uh, wave. We push this one. That's the wave right there. See that? Gives you the frequency right now. It's 124.5 volts. Sorry, because of the uh, screen with the camera, it's not just working right. So, Sun GT internal inverter grid wave. I'm reading from the camera, so it's really hard to see. So, it's figuring out uh, the frequency of the grid. So, if we go back that and let's see. I think we did that one. Yes, we've done this. Go internal and then go back to the house. Save that. And we're done with that. And this now in here, I think. Okay. So this is the. This is the frequency. It's so tiny that I can't even read that so i have to read it from itself the camera can pick that it says sun gt inverter power waveform so it's gonna tell you today's uh kilowatt you made in and the total kilowatt you made from your solar ray see it says right here see that and look at that and there we go so and uh, that we can go back from here, there, there. I think we've done that one. Yes, we did. And we have to come to date. So program the date. So it's 2016. It's almost right. Uh, just really hard to see okay enter and now we're gonna do push the arrow here 2016 let's try this uh, now April, I think it's the 15th today. Well, it's not the 15th today, it's the 14th. We dropped that and uh, move that. The time right now is a 7. My time zone, because I'm a central standard time, so we just have to bring it out to 8.40. 847 I think it is yeah. yeah 847 down and push that one it's gonna be 47 and seconds 47 let's take a look at what else okay 48 already so put that one right there right there right there and save you want to save yes enter done we done so this is how it's gonna look like it's already programmed see so other countries the month comes first so that's how it's set for I can change that so it has uh, 2016 April 14 749 to 49 all right so that's so for about 48 i gotta do it again correct that
That's 50 now. Yes. There you go. Everything is programmed. Sorry for the camera. And that's the time right there. Two thousand sixteen, April fourteen, seven fifty is the time. It was sitting at one hundred and twenty four point three two volts from the grid. Okay, no wattage coming in. It's not connected to the solar right now. Just programming it. And thanks for watching. If you like that, this is uh, this is the Sun. That's how it's named. The Sun Series G grid tied power inverter. So this is the model um, I got is a Sun dash one thousand G two. Okay, if I would have got the other one, that would give you the um, the external limiter that uh, you can able plug that and goes to two twenty outlets so that's why you have this kind of spot right here is where you see those holes right here it's supposed to be the other feature right there so this is where you connect the solar okay all right guys another video again new technology I'm trying here and this is basically it's gonna go for Tom I'll see how it works and you know Maybe I can recommend that to other people that are doing a little grid tie system. It's going to be just like a hybrid. You can connect your battery into this. And you can connect it through solar. So if you don't have uh, the uh, if you don't have the money to do like an outback and all integrated system. Or maybe you do Schneider and all that good stuff, you know. You can use these devices taken from your battery. Your charge controller is going to be charging the battery. Then taken from the charge from the batteries, you invert to this one. And this one is thrown back to the grid. This is a nice little piece of unit here that is designed all the way across the pond. See? So it's supposed to detect the solar coming in. It tells you the wattage. It tells you the volt. Now this is the grid right here. The grid power right here that is going to be telling you how much you're putting in from the solar. And it's going to be seeing if you pull in too much. Your grid power, you pull in a load. It's going to study your load in your house and, and this thing is going to trigger. And instead of you, your solar panels, you're going to be taking more from the, um, the grid. Your solar panel is going to kick in and zero out whatever your house consumption is. That's what this device does. It zero out where your consumption is right now. And the solar just going to compensate and just zero out. If your solar can produce more than that. And uh, it borrows a little bit from the grid. You know, but the thing is instead of the, the, the one whole essence of this thing. The one whole uh, concept about this thing. So that you cannot... You can back feed power back to the grid, but the only thing you cannot spin the meter. It can let you spin the meter backwards. So it's not going to register with an energy company saying that, oh, instead of they charge you because some, some states and some people already got some issues with that because you put in power to the grid, they charge you for putting power to the grid. Your kilowatt hours, the, they, they increase the cents because they don't want to pay you. So that's why a lot of people go off grid. They save power to the batteries. So you can still have this one. Instead of like uh, draining your batteries, your solar panel is going to be charging your, your, your battery bank. And your battery bank, you're going to invert from your battery bank, from your battery bank to this machine. Or you can connect your solar panels just directly here. And you can throw the power back to the grid. But the good thing, the bad thing... The other way you want to look at it, if you just use this device, it tends to only put power to the grid when it sees a load in your house. 
So let me say your house stop drawing uh, a load at that moment, like all the refrigerators, all the TVs, or maybe you guys are not home, your 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 AC is not pulling and anything. So the solar panel is gonna be sitting there doing nothing. So at the end of the day, you are not making money. As long as as soon as it senses a load in the house, that's the time it's gonna invert the power. To compensate what you're drawing right now so they can borrow from the uh, from from the power company at all so this device can do both so now you can take the uh, the uh, connected from the batteries here if you have a 24 12 24 48 this is a these are 45 to 90 volt so you can use a, a 48 volt system you can go up to about a, a 50 volt and 72 uh, nominum you know battery bank and all that kind of stuff so you can just invert you can just invert from the batteries while your charge controller maybe your classic or outback or xantrax or whatever you have morningstar is charging the batteries and the batteries are uh, it senses any load in the house and this thing is just gonna invert right away to cover your loads taken from the batteries while the charge controllers are pouring in so you're not losing at night you still have power with your battery bank and power your house it's kind of a neat device so that's why i was looking at it and if you guys want to know more about it this is the thing right here and check it out it's a hot kick right now so i will tell you guys i'll see production whatever we're gonna try it first with the panels and after that we're gonna try it through the batteries i like the system because um it does um it does the, the function is uh two functions it can do so you can go batteries or you can go through solar either or so some people if you want to set up like just few solar panels for that you want your because you have your 240 in the house all the load like a refrigerator um sorry your dishwasher and your 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 stove is electric some of the other stuff that take 240 so you can use this at a backup it just like feed maybe three or four panels as long as you don't go a thousand watts then they even have the 2000 watts you can just take this this one is uh, back feeding back like if you have an AC central unit and the other all the other loads have coming from your your charge controller uh, your, sorry your, your uh, inverter then it's gonna just use the inverter then all the other loads that goes through ace um, 240 volt or whatever this thing is gonna throw back on the other leg they have the 220 this is just the one one 115 on it 110 they have the 220 you can back feed it back to cover the other loads to zero out some people say hey um, I can do this but I can't do the other loads because I only have a 110 or 120 115 volt so this one if you buy the 240 the 220 you can able to do that to cover the other part of the house but if you want you can just put everything into this you have your inverter you have this one connected into it to cover the other loads in your house whatever you want to do different specs so it's another 29 minutes right from the Command Center here. This is JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. If you like that, comment, thumbs up, and feel free to ask questions. But this is all I, I, I read about this thing before I ordered it. Well, I'm going to see how it's going to work and test it. It's going to go for Tom, my friend. If you watch how to make your battery cables yourself, yeah, check it out and see. This is a huge, 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 huge uh, improvement we're doing onto the system right here. All right. This one comes from came from all the way overseas. All right, take care and don't forget to subscribe, share the links with your family members and friends. You have a wonderful day.